Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with our last couple of Windows 10 updates, Microsoft has been pushing out the new mobile devices um, feature, which is a Windows 11 feature that they have now introduced uh, into Windows 10. And as I have been posting, Microsoft started pushing out the new mobile devices feature, starting with this update that rolled out near the end of May, which was our May optional bug fix update, KB5037849. And if you didn't install this update, um, it was included in our Patch Tuesday security update that rolled out um, a week or two ago, KB5039211. Now, as I have been mentioning with uh, those updates, the new mobile devices feature has been on a controlled rollout. And I did notice uh, today in my region, because when I installed those updates, the mobile devices wasn't made available in my region due to being on a controlled rollout. And I noticed today when I booted up my Windows 10, there you have it, mobile devices is now available in my part of the world. So you may have seen this feature on your Windows 10 device. You may have not. Obviously, it's region specific. It's still being gradually rolled out according to Microsoft. But just letting you know now that it's becoming more widely available. And just to give you a quick hands-on if this feature is new to you and you would like to know more or less what it's all about. Now, at first, when you enter mobile devices and you actually toggle on, allow this PC to access your mobile devices because this is turned off by default, what will happen is you will see a menu, a dialog show up, which um, will want you to... Uh, get the cross device experience host update from the Microsoft store and then once you've downloaded the cross device experience host from the store um, it will then link your device and then if you click on manage devices you'll see in this menu we've got a couple of options so just starting at the top here you've got add a device so obviously you can add a new device um, by scanning the QR code and then we, if we have a look at the rest of the menu, here we can see that you can turn off your phone. So here's my phone. It's enabled at the moment, so it's linked. And I can actually turn that off if I don't want it to be linked. And then I've got another setting here. Get new photo notifications. Receive new notifications to open or edit photos from this device. Because this is actually a new snipping tool feature that Microsoft has added. First made available over on Windows 11. Now being pushed out gradually to Windows 10. Now how this all works, and for this I'm just going to head to my mobile device. So how this works is when you take a photo or screenshot on your Android device, a dialog, a dialog then on your PC prompts you to open Snipping Tool. So I'm just going to take a quick screenshot um, over on my Android device. And there we go. And now you'll notice with that feature turned on, you'll see my notifications now tells me there's a new notification and there's my new photo or my screenshot in this case and I click on that and as mentioned it's a snipping tool feature and when I click on that it opens snipping tool and then I can edit and obviously work on that photo or screenshot on my PC um, using this new uh, mobile devices snipping tool feature so that's more or less um, how this all works guys and just wanted to put it out there because obviously I have posted two update videos and hadn't been able to show you how this uh, feature works hands-on so just a quick run through how this uh, works hands-on and hope hopefully if you weren't aware what the feature was all about now you'd have a little bit of a better idea so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one